Well, happening this week, the La Jolla Playhouse is celebrating the annual WOW Festival. The four-day event features immersive and interactive experiences from local, national, and international artists. And joining us now to talk more about this event is Mia Fiorella, La Jolla Playhouse's Director of Experiences and Activations. Thank you so much for being here in Fox 5. Hi, thank you so much for having me. Tell us about this event for people who don't know about it and what can visitors expect? Well, it's a four-day festival starting Thursday of interactive site-specific spectacle work that includes dance, puppetry, theater, music, art installations. It has it all. And how many artists are part of this. I imagine for different experiences, it, it, it really can vary. Yeah, we have 25 projects this year, 16 are just show up. So just look at your calendar, go to the website, plan your day and come in. And nine are RSVP, some of them are full, but check the website. Things are opening up all the time. Is it a free event? It is a completely free event and annual. This is a change for us two years ago to go to annual and absolutely free. When you say interactive, like talk to me about what people will, will see when they go there or what they'll be able to do. Well, you might show up and see lots of street theater or people coming to talk to you or people asking you to interact with them in new ways and, and maybe send you out into the space to do fun things with them. So it be playful, be available, flexible, nimble. It's an opportunity to play. Do you have any like specific examples of what ended up being like a real big hit with the artists and the crowd? And well, one of the artists, um, California's own Bandaloop, will be um, on Friday and Saturday. They are a vertical aerial dance company, which who they will be dancing off the Design and Innovation Building on UC San Diego's campus, and that is an exciting opportunity to see their work. They they they're seen internationally all over. They've never been to San Diego, so it's a real treat to have them. Has it grown since it started in I guess 2011? Yes, um, we have grown, I mean, the projects we used to do maybe 15 to 20, now we're 25 plus, and that it's annual, it is definitely grown. What, uh, what, what's been the feedback from people who go out there and have never been a part of it before? Well, I mean, it's over 20,000 people RSVP to come see work, and when they show up, it's just a surprise and delight. I never expected this. I never thought I could interact with art in this way. They bring the kids, they bring relatives, friends, family. So it's just it's just a fun way to to be in together and experience unique things. So you can go home and be that uh, around the dinner table conversation. I think we've lost the art of play, and I think that this is like one of those things where people are allowed to be whatever they want, whenever they want to. Um, I think that that's probably why you've seen it grow so much, right? Yes. I mean, it's, it's adults want to find ways to play. They want to find ways to play in new ways, especially with their kids and with their friends. I mean, why not have opportunities to do that and experience in, in unique experiences, things that you're not going to see anywhere else that you'll see at the WOW Festival. So talk to people where they can go to find out more information on what days and what kind of things they want to experience and how they get there. Yeah, go to wowfestival.org, pick the day you want to attend, and just map out a couple of things, but leave room to show up and surprise and be surprised and delighted in ways. Um, I'd say there's a few things. There's a, we have some international artists coming in from Taiwan and France and Canada and the Netherlands, as well as local companies, um, Blind Spot Collective, Animal Cracker Conspiracy, Tuyo, and there's so much on offer for everyone. So I go to the, go to the website, pick a day, and plan some a few things, but or leave go, room. Or go all four days. Or go all four days. And it's open for family too, right? Everybody has something. Yes, family friendly. Saturday is a big family friendly day. You can show up at 11, start with our pop tour, and continue throughout. And uh, I recommend Les Moutons, which is the human embodying the characteristics of sheep Moutons. rooted yeah. in yeah. <laughs> circus sheep. and uh, clowning, which will be really fun for everyone. Yeah, we saw a clip of that. It's yeah, we did. Actually, yeah. Yeah. We saw some video of that. <laughs> yeah. So some returns. All right. Yeah. Mia, thank you so much for joining us. And thank if you'd you. like to learn more about the WOW Festival in La Jolla, just head to our website, fox5sandiego.com, and click on the Xenon Fox 5 tab. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.